Hi guys, my name is Stephanie and I'm currently a master's student at Columbia University studying business analytics. And today I will be talking about data cleaning. So what does data cleaning mean exactly? According to Wikipedia, data cleaning focuses on the detection and correction of data quality issues. Data quality issues can entail incomplete, inaccurate, or unnecessary parts. Data cleaning deals with missing data and validates data accuracy in the given database. More likely than not, you will face data quality issues in a real world setting. For example, if you conduct a survey and ask people for their address, people may input it in different formats. So you would have to go in and ensure consistency by standardizing the data. Other examples could be problematic or ambiguous data. You know, for example, if you're creating a database with phone numbers and you see some numbers that have digits that are longer than the typical 10 digits found with US phone numbers, you may ask yourself, are these typos or are these international phone numbers? And an important step to take into account when doing data cleaning is GIGO, which stands for garbage in, garbage out. So the three components of data cleaning that we are going to cover include what exactly are data quality issues? Um, how can we determine whether there are quality issues? And if there are these issues, how can we clean the data? So what can cause data quality issues? Um, some examples could include measurement error from humans or devices, collection error, which could look like missing and or duplicate data, as well as input error. Uh, humans are prone to making errors, you know, we aren't perfect. So with data sets that involve humans that are manually entering in the information, you know, mistakes or typos could occur. Um, data entries, including typos or missed entries could happen. And some other examples could be unavailable information, problematic or ambiguous input, or noisy and meaningless data, which we will talk about later in this presentation. So some examples of data quality issues could be missing data, um, such as null values in data sets, duplicated data. So that would mean the same data object is recorded multiple times, irregular data such as outliers and inconsistent data, which could materialize like the telephone number example that I had mentioned earlier. So missing data is a very common data quality issue and can be easily detected and corrected. This type of quality issue can often be a result of collection errors, such as from a human or the information is just not readily available. So oftentimes um, machine learning algorithms will fail if this data set contains missing values. So even in the cases that it does not fail, the absence of data can create various problems such as reducing the representativeness of the samples and can create bias in the estimator of parameters. So one way of detecting the missing data is by using the pandas libraries is null function. Um, pandas is able to recognize empty cells and NA values um, as missing values. And um, to be specific, NA values here have to be in capital letters, so capital N, capital A. And so when you call the is null function, it outputs Boolean values, which as you can see in this table here are only consisting of true or false values. So the empty cells and NA values return true and the remaining return false. Inconsistent formatting issues can be a problem here because pandas isn't able to recognize other types of values. But if you write it as lowercase n, lowercase a, or n slash a, or dash, um, pandas won't be able to see that as a missing value. And that could be a problem if there are multiple users entering data. And if you want to get a summary of how many rows have missing values for each column, you just have to call the df.isNull.sum function, or you specify the data frame with this function here. So for example, if you look at the chart on the right, there were no missing values for the passenger ID column, but there were 180 missing values for the age column and 687 for the cabin column. 
to check missing data for a specific column, you just have to include the square brackets here next to the DF and then specifying the column name through a string input. So you would do the quotations and then the name of the column. So here we are looking at specifically the cabin column um, and you can see all the true false outfits. So now that you've determined the missing data, how do you handle these missing values? So one way to handle the missing data is by eliminating these data objects. You can use the data frame dot drop NA function to remove cells or columns with null values. As you can see here, there's the parameter in place. Um, and this controls whether changes are made directly to the data set. So for example, here it's in place equals true. The, this means the drop NA method will modify the data frame directly. So it will overwrite your data and drop all the missing values from your original data set. So that is something to take into account. There's also another parameter called the how parameter. And um, with this one, there are two acceptable arguments. So there is, if you set how equal to all, it will drop the row only if all the values in that row are missing. And you can see that here with the how equals all with the quotations. And then also there is um, how equals to any, and here drop NA will drop the row if any of the values in that row are missing. Another parameter with the drop NA value function is the thresh parameter. And this controls the min minimum number of non-NAND values needed in the column not to drop. So NAN stands for not a number and is one of the ways to represent missing values in data. Um, another one also is the parameter subset as seen here. And this is for when you want to look at specific columns. And so here you can see that we are just looking at the cabin column specifically. Another parameter also with the drop NA function is the axis parameter, and it controls whether it is the rows or the columns that will be dropped. And so you can see here, we are specifying, we are only looking at the columns. So another way to handle missing data is by filling in the blanks. And some common options for filling in the blank include using the mean, median and mode values. And you can um, get these values through these various functions here. Um, you can also specify a value to replace the null value. And to fill in these uh, null values, um, you use data frame uh, column dot fill NA and then whatever value and then in place here equals true. And so you can see an example on the bottom here um, where they filled in the null values with the mean age. And then they also filled in the uh, null values within the cabin column with the mode. Another data quality issue that arises is duplicated data. So what exactly comprises of duplicated data? If two data rows have the same value for every column, by default or for some certain columns, or it could be caused by data collection error or merge data from heterogeneous sources. Duplication can cause many issues such as distorting data distributions, misleading a machine learning model and resulting in some inaccurate analysis results. So um, the data frame dot duplicated function as seen in this slide removes the duplicates. Um, Again, as a reminder for the in-place parameter um, within this, it show, it's for um, whether you want to directly modify the original data set. So to see whether there are no more duplicates, you can use the isUnique function. You can call a specific column and if it returns the Boolean value of true, that means the column has all the unique values or false if there contains duplicates. Another type of data quality issue is irregular data, which could include noises and outliers, which I mentioned at the start of the presentation. 
So both noises and outliers should be removed because they can mislead analysis processes and reduce the quality of results. And noises are modifications of the original data. So it could be, for example, the distortion of a person's voice. Outliers are objects that are significantly different from other objects. So for example, if you're looking at a data set and about temperature in Rochester in January, and you have one value of 75 degrees, um, it could be seen as an outlier if most of the values are within the range of 30 to 35 degrees. And outliers are something to um, take into account because they can heavily skew the results. So how do you correctly identify which objects are significantly different from the rest? A common way is to follow the principle of trimmed means, which is to remove those values that are too far away from the mean. You can do this by specifying ranges using univariate statistics, such as standard deviation and interquartile range. Another approach is to project the data records to a space through visualization so you can easily spot which ones deviate from the rest of the data population. Um, after identifying the outliers, we can use the drop method to remove these specific outliers. This me method removes the specified row or columns. Um, by specifying the column axis, you would do axis equals column within the drop function. And that removes the specified column. And then by doing axis equals index, the drop method removes the specified row. Data inconsistent issues can be both semantic or syntactic. They are application specific and need to be explicitly defined. Um, inconsistent data can be seen through inconsistent data types, inconsistent data formats, data semantic issues, and typos from human inputting errors. And you can see here some of the examples it could be SSN, address data, um, and then also some typos could be writing RTIT instead of RIT. To fix this inconsistency, we can specify the legal values um, and use regular expressions, which is also called regex. Once they're defined, the entries that violate the integrity can be removed or replaced with the methods mentioned earlier. And to learn more about regex, you can look at this documentation that teaches you about the syntax of regex. That is the end of the presentation. Data cleaning is one of the first steps of data science and is very crucial in ensuring that one gets accurate results. Um, using dirty data to create analysis can lead to poor predictions and dangerous outcomes. And so definitely data cleaning is something to pay attention to. Thank you.